Hi, so um, today I am going to discuss a few different things. Um, mostly this Wi-Fi adapter, this Rosewood Wi-Fi adapter is an AC 1300. So once you, the AC part, I question the naming structure of that, but that's another story. Uh, so I'm gonna discuss this card and this TP-Link AV power line adapter. So recently I have upgraded to a higher internet speed through Spectrum. Uh, my download speed is now 300 down with 20 upload. And once I upgraded I wasn't getting anywhere near speed. So normally I had 120 down, 5 up. And with the power line adapter it was working great. Um, I actually looked work better than what I had up before. Um, so once I upgraded, I had some issues. Short story, I was having issues. Router had to be reset. I started getting the speeds. So here's a few different things I want to discuss with the power line adapters and this thing right now. So currently, so currently, I am using my Ethernet adapter right here. I've disabled the Wi-Fi that I have installed here. Mm -hmm. So it is using the power line adapter. Um, if I run a test here, you can see my speed, my millisec, my ping, my um, download gets nowhere near it was. Um, I do have to say before I upgraded my internet speed, I was getting above the 100, normally I was getting about 105 to 115. I don't see above 100 now. Um, my uploads is perfect now, like it's close to provisioning. So I'm not, I don't have the issue with the upload. Um, the download however hasn't been cutting it for me. Um, after troubleshooting, figuring out my router issue. And my modem issue. Had to replace my modem um, for a 16 by 4 modem. Um, I'm getting my speeds. However, what I want you to do, so I'm going to do it through here also. So you have two different tests for download uh, speedtest.net and fast.com. So 91 here, 95 down here. I am connecting to Charter's um, server here in Olivet. Um, so nowhere near what I'm supposed to be getting. After enabling my Wi-Fi and disabling that, connected to my Wi-Fi, so I'm going to retest. So 300 down there, so right on what I'm paying for. And through speedtest.net gives it a second. So well above the 95. And with overvisioning I do hit 330 there. So this has some issues going on with it. So with Powerline, I do I did have I did buy a couple extra adapters. Um, so there is that I am passing more bandwidth on those wires in my house. However, I was getting more. So I don't know whether it was the modem switch or what that caused the speed decrease. But with the um, faster internet I am not seeing even close to what I was paying for before so this is currently my router Asus dual band router 1900 nothing special nothing out of the ordinary 4 gigabit port so it's not an issue with the router not being able to support the speed it's a gigabit router so the Ethernet ports can support gigabit um, it is a great router, I like the settings and stuff. Um, however, it's just these power line adapters 
once you get farther away and the adapters they do have issues with the wiring inside the houses um, this one does have three ports on each one so if you have more than three or one device and then room this will be great for that I, I do recommend this still um, like I said I was getting my hunter down before this I just can't get my 300 down with it and it does say it's a tw up to 1200 megabit per second connection um, once again though if you add more than the original two so one of these plugs into your router um, or your switch or whatever you have and the other one goes into the other room as you get farther away the um, as you get farther away basically the wire in your house and any switches any fuses that it has to go through weakens that signal um, if you have it plugged into a surge protector you will really not see any close anywhere close to the speed um, right now this is at ninety dollars as the list price was a hundred so it's not a bad deal for what you get um, if you wireless is terrible if you're in an area like in a, an apartment um, this may be the best option for you um, it worked well for me for a little bit however I switched pretty quickly so it didn't work more than a couple months um, here is the adapter I got it's a rose wheel AC 1200 or AC 1300 so supports both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands um, obviously there's nothing special about most of these adapters I chose this one because it was the cheapest at the time um, right now it's going for $45 which isn't that bad still um, so not bad with this you do have to realize with wireless this AC so it's going to be AC 867 and then N3 something or 400 or whatever it is so it's N400 plus AC 867 or something like that I believe so basically when you're on that 5 gigahertz band it only can support up to 867 megabits per second which is perfectly fine not, not, not an issue there um, I just wish the naming structure would be more realistic because it's not going to accept the full 1300 that you're seeing it's going to accept more like 900 like I said still more than fine just naming structure but right there so yeah 867 by 400 um, it does have the two antennas it does have beam forming so it does work well and as you can see from the speed test gets the speeds um, I'll have links for all these in the description below so um, this router I can't give you a price on I bought it a while back it's been at least a year or so probably more closer to two years now um, it was well more way more than that so once again technology goes down pretty quickly so great price um, as for the other two I did buy those the links twice so on October 4th I paid 60 bucks for it which is great then it still would be a great deal now if it goes down again on November 7th I ordered two more which is one thing which is 70 bucks again so still not bad so right now the price of those did go up a bit um, so this one is the Rosewell adapter Wi-Fi adapter I did order very recently um, so I've had it for less than two weeks now for 35 bucks that price has also gone up but it's only 10 bucks so I, I guess what I'm going to discuss here is just um basically Wi-Fi or power line adapters it really depends on your setup on what is going to be the best option um, obviously if you can wire directly into your modem or your your route 
not your modem, your router, your switch. That's going to be a better option than getting either one of these. However, if that's not an option, if you're in an apartment building, the power line adapter may work better for you because you might be in a congested Wi-Fi area if you're using the 2.4 especially. If you're using the 5 gigahertz, probably not so much. So this still may work. Um, however, like I said, this may work for some people where you, there is just way too much Wi-Fi interference. Um, you can't run wires. Um, and like I said, your mileage may vary on the um, speeds. It does depend on the wiring inside the house or apartment or um, wherever you're staying. So don't take my stats and my numbers. Like I said, I did do these tests multiple times and they are pretty consistent on what they get. But yeah, so I mean, As you can see, once again, we're still up there, so perfectly fine speeds. Like I said, I will list all three objects in the links down below. Um, if you have any questions about my setup or about my speed or really anything, just um, put a comment down below. I don't know if this is informative enough for you. If you have any um, suggestions, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer questions and try to help out as best I can. Um, I'm still working on this recording business here, so it may not be the best for the time being. But thumbs up, thumbs down. Have a great one. Peace out.